Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join my Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prompt. Uh, but before we start, I want to kind of touch a little bit about Lico contests, um, just to kind of give a little bit of a background. Um, and some of you might actually discover this channel through because of my videos on the time test. So maybe it needs no introduction for that. But, uh, but basically, these are just contests that they have. Um, well, the weekly is every week and the bi-weekly is every two weeks. So uh, fortnightly contest, if you will. But uh, but yeah, but I think it's just like a, you know, it's something that Lico does and something that I actually am a fan of. Um, because I think even just from an interview process, I mean, look, uh, nothing is going to be um, quite the same as doing an interview yourself or even just like, you know, one step before that, maybe, you know, grab a buddy who is knowledgeable or someone and kind of, do a mock interview but you know aside from that and if you're still a little bit shy and not confident and you don't want to waste someone's time the contest is actually a pretty good place to kind of simulate some of the uh, um, some of the things that you might encounter I mean obviously the problems to some degree which we'll talk about in a second but also just like the um, the well both the psychological and physiological right meaning like you know maybe you get a little bit of adrenaline maybe you get a little bit too excited maybe your hands get a little bit sweaty and maybe you get a little bit anxiety because you know you care a lot about your rating or how you do or whatever right um and these are things that you know you need or it gets a little bit better with time but you know it depends on what, what these things mean right and of course there's some caveats about things in general but uh but yeah definitely something that i recommend in general um you know it's a very good part and it's free as far as i can i mean there is some maybe pay to win thing but i'm not gonna get into it but it's still free you know for yourself if you only do it for yourself then it's fine uh all the not all the problems are great but you know it doesn't matter right just get get some practice and get some reps in and like you know um we all have this like thing of um you know, of just like solving problems. And then the other thing, of course, is that there's no lying. There's no, I mean, okay, there, maybe there's some cheating per se. But if you're honest to yourself, there's no cheating, right? Like um, you can, you know, see how long it takes for you to solve something, not how long you think you took to some, take something. There's no, um, you know, skipping ahead to kind of look at the answer and, and then solve it. Uh, I mean, I guess like eventually you can, but like not during the contest, right? So there are definitely stuff that I would definitely just recommend, right? Um, especially since... Um, you know, on an interview, writing precise clean code um, with, with some practice and like just precise being like accurate the first time. And <laughs> if you watch me, I also sometimes I watch this, but obviously during an interview, you may actually be a little bit more deliberate in timing, right? Like slow down a little bit just to make sure you get it right, but still get it right in a good, fast time, right? Um, and these are kind of all these pressures that are um, given to you by a contest. So I definitely recommend this um in general um that all that said and maybe i should spin this out to a different video and i might anyway for kind of like how to approach lead code contests um if that is something of interest to you let me know in the comments and maybe i'll just spin something out that said uh I, I, if you are already doing lead code contests i want to draw your attention to this post by josh or numbers is it numbers or number oh no s huh was anyway but yeah by josh uh tldr is that uh in the recent contest there's just a lot of kind of shenanigans based off like the contest just not doing very well um definitely read up on that apparently it's on my front page i don't know if it's on everyone's front page definitely check that out i'll post a link on the bottom um to read and maybe tomorrow i'll go over it you know after you have a chance to read and collect the dots um but but yeah but i think it, just in general uh yeah just you know J josh and i you know have to have the same opinion which is that you know people are, uh i think there's also another uh post and now i'm just talking a little bit about the drama so definitely uh you know get in there i think there was also another post from um from this dude uh, uh, with replies by like really smart people so the people just like complaining about it right you could say but to be honest um, people are having these opinions just because they really like the contest and they really care about the contest and they really like it to improve so hopefully um, with some pressure with some upvotes uh, Leetco can kind of you know um, take it as an opportunity to improve and learn and you know figuring out just like we all do from time to time I mean it's okay to you know 
have some silliness and maybe I'll do a deeper dive at some point. Uh, and again, let me know in the comments if that's something that people are interested about. Uh, I mean, competitive programming is how I kind of got started. And I got started before people start calling it competitive programming. Also, now there's a deep story. Uh, <laughs> they usually just call it top coding back then, I think. But uh, and before that, I forget what they call it. But um, hmm, I don't know if there's a name, but I don't know. I think they were trying to figure out how to name it. But I guess eventually it was competitive programming. In either case, um, yeah, so it is also dear to my heart uh, in, in a way. So yeah, because that's how I kind of got started before all this lead code and before before these problems became conduits for interviews, which is another story. But yeah, uh, and of course, if I didn't enjoy doing it, you would not be seeing these videos because, you know, like, to be frank, you could do the math. I'm not making any money off this. So yeah, anyway, all right. That was a long kind of comment. That was a long intro. Hope everyone's, you know, having a good day. Maybe I, uh, I'll do uh, it, its own video spreading it out. Uh, I'm. I've been kind of lazy, but uh, I'm trying to also spin out more just like opinionated content or just history or something like that. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, all right, let's take a look at today. There's a weekly problem that we'll solve on another video, um, you know, but also today. So like coming after this, let's take a look at today's problem. Today's problem is 279 perfect squares. I think this is, um, and I don't, it's been a while, so it's kind of silly. Um, I'll see what I can do, um, and what what I mean by that is that because uh, I think the first if, if you look at my first video I probably solved it in a uh, actually I don't want to look at it I don't know but I don't remember if you can solve it without knowing this but it is a lot easier without knowing this which is that there's apparently a thing called a four squares um, is it hypothesis or conjecture I forget but. It's been a while. It's it's something that comes up never, right? And I don't remember if this is needed, because if it's needed, it is just silly. But um, because you know, like someone wrote a paper on it, you're not writing a paper during uh, uh, during interview, right? I mean, okay, you know, yeah, if you are, then more props to you. But then maybe you should be doing these videos and teaching me how to you know do math. But in any case, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm really talkative today. I, I uh, actually just came back from the gym um, and after like going on a low carb diet. So I think maybe I'm just like a little bit, a lot of energy based off the ketones or something on ketosis. But in any case, all right, we don't have to go to, <laughs> we already talked about the contest. We don't have to have talk about Larry's health today. Other than that, I look, I feel okay. Um, but yeah, but there is this thing called four squares uh, something. I forget what it is exactly. Let me actually Google it because, but basically, uh, without finishing Googling it, basically my understanding is that any number can be constructed as a sum of four, four, oh, four squares. I don't know why, not four, four squares. What are you saying, Harry? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's the sum of four squares, right? Um, let me actually Google that so I could give you a link on. I think it's just on Wikipedia or something like that. So if you search for four square, oh, it's called Lagrange four square um, theorem. So okay, I actually didn't. I mean, I did know this at some point, but it's just like, like how often are you gonna use this? I don't know. For me, never apparently, other than this kind, uh, this problem. Uh, I mean, you can say that about anything, but I do use a little bit more than that. But in any case, yeah. So. Let me see if I can figure out, I mean, the way to do this without this, however, is probably just dynamic programming. Um, yeah, the way that I would do this without that is just dynamic programming, right? And I'll see if I could do it top down. I don't know if it's fast enough, to be honest, but it should be okay. Um, hmm. Well, so yeah, I mean, it should be okay, but maybe not. I don't know how, because this is one of those borderline things on lead code, so we'll see, right? So then here we can maybe do a get min, the current number, and then, um, I guess that's it really, right? And then if n is equal to zero, we can return zero. And that's pretty much it, right? And then now we can do something like for i in range 
of um, I guess square root of n and uh, that's why there's another way right so i is equal to 1 while while n or uh, i times i is less than or equal to n uh, I don't like small n's it just kind of looks weird let me rewrite this and um, then now um, so best is equal to some infinity guest <laughs> Uh, best is you go to get min um, n minus i times i because that's a square and then this is plus one right oh oops so we're on min of this and the current best and then we just return best right and that's pretty much it and then the idea here of course um, is that we cache this at some point but let's do a quick one just to make sure that it works okay we may have time out but I just want to, if it times up for 12 then maybe we're in trouble Why would it time off for 12? Mm, I guess it does. Uh, I guess it does. Because then now it does. Do, 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 do. Okay, fine. Right, so here, maybe it times out quicker than I thought. But um, yeah. Um, I think one, there are a couple of optimizations that maybe we can do. No, I don't know. But yeah, but here then we just add uh, memorization. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, why do I have an if statement there? <laughs> but yeah, the, the, I always write these out as two different things just because I think it's easier to read it this way here. Um, or I always write this out in in in, um, in these videos because I think for teaching purposes, this is much clearer. Um, I don't know, people always sometimes give me crap about it. But I don't know, it doesn't really matter, right? Like if you don't even know what you're doing, it's fine. We, we, um, but yeah, is this also time limit? That would be funny. Hmm. Why with this time limit? Am I doing something wrong? Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm just being dumb. I forgot to increment. <laughs> Whoops. All right, there we go. Uh, let's give it a submit. I mean, we already did the caching, but we can maybe try. Um, I think usually I run it without the caching just to kind of be, and this may time out, which is fine. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, so you can see that this works. Um, of course, it takes much longer than usual. Um, the way I would have actually, to be honest, I, I also debated going um, going down in DP, but, but yeah. So what is the complexity here, right? So this is going to be the n, uh, you know, the total time is just going to be time per input times number of inputs. So then number of input number number of inputs is going to be all of or just n exactly and then each input takes how long does it take well square root of n right because that's how this while loop takes so you go to square root of n so this is just you go to uh so total time is you go to uh all of n square root of n or if you, if you prefer n to the 1.5 i guess right or something like that but uh but yeah uh, and of course, given that n is 10 to the 4th, this is going to be 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 2, which is 10 to the 6th, which is, I guess, fast enough for this one. I mean, not great time, but, you know, it's fine. It's fast enough. Um, there are a couple of things you can do. You can make it, um, you know, uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, DP. Um, but I think, I don't know why they keep on asking this. Apparently, this has been asked like the fourth time. Because this isn't like... I guess this solution is okay, but I just don't like the fact that, you know, this solution is okay, right? Because you can do one more thing, for example. If you knew that this was going to be 4, then maybe, you know, you could do 4 here, right, for example. Um, and then you could, oh, sorry, whoops. So here maybe we can uh, have left, right? Just like how many numbers we can have left. And, you know, we can kind of rewrite things that way. And I'm just curious how much faster that would be now that we cut away some of the complexities, right? And then here, uh, left minus one. And this is, um, yeah, if left minus one is greater than zero, right? Um, yeah. Uh, of course, we have to change this a little bit. Uh, so just four. 
Yeah. I don't know why I've been typing so poorly today, but uh, just maybe being old. Oh, because I did four. Four left. Okay, fine. I guess this should be five. Whoops. It only has one input anyway. All right. So that looks good. Let's see if it's faster. All right. And this is just based off. Um... Hmm. Oh, this is even slower. Huh. I guess it doesn't reuse some of the states. But also the four is pretty bad. I think what we should have done is like. Um... We should do three left, right? And then if it's not three, then it's going to be four, right? So then here you just do, if it's not, if you can't do it in three steps, then you, it will return infinity. So then maybe we could do that. Is that faster? That should be a little bit faster. But it's definitely faster than this. But hmm, yeah, then you can see that it optimized a little bit because then now you can see that as four squares. Um, of course, you can also just now, as you now can see, just write, four loops instead, right? Which is what this kind of really is. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just a very really silly problem as a result. But I think the other stuff is pretty okay though. So yeah, <laughs> at that time I just wrote four loops, for example. Uh, but, but yeah, but I just wanted to also show the DP solution, including one optimization. Uh, this is also where, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for this problem in the sense that like no one reasonably should expect you to know this theorem. So like you wouldn't make this optimization, but it just kind of uh, shows you as an example of like, okay, if there's some mathematical property that you are able to prove, then you can kind of use it as a dimension as well. Um, and here, the number of inputs is going to be four, uh, four times n, and each input takes lot square n. So this is going to be um, the same complexity, but then now... Um, but yeah, but then now like you just kind of destroy a lot of branching factors um, and maybe, and yeah, and that's kind of nice. Um, so it's just a constant uh, optimization thing, constant factor. Anyway, that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about the intro. Hope y'all doing all right. It's already Wednesday. Time flies by. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.